Once again, you gotta feel the edges. And holy smoke. Oh, wow! It's hanging from the wall! What the heck? TV used to be a shelf as well. Yeah, it used to be a piece of furniture, Shane. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Jewelry, marbles. Hey everybody, how we doing? Robert Zaba, auctioneer extraordinaire with Second Sense Auctions, and I hope everyone's having a wonderful, great day. You won't believe this. My buddy. He spent 19, over $1,900. By the time you add the buyer premium and the tax, it's probably about $2,200 for storage unit, 10 by 10. Myself, Conky Slippin' Adventures, we were both watching the unit. We liked the unit. We saw some old toys in there. It was all shelves. We saw tools. But guess what? I just can't spend that much money on a unit. that I just didn't see enough value, ladies and gentlemen. I got at least double my money. And that's like you're trying to get 4500 bucks. It's a lot of money to get out of a storage unit. I've been buying and selling these for a long time. And trust me, I know it's tough. But <clears throat> he brought all this stuff for me to sell. And he still has stuff that he had his place. So I'm going to go through the stuff. He dropped it all off. I didn't get a chance to see all the stuff. They set up on the table, and I can't wait. So who knows what we're going to find. Once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Hit the bell, get your notifications, and best thing you can buy this stuff. www.secondsense.com, www.secondsense.com, and I'll toast to that. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at this old, old toaster. It's actually pretty cool, huh, Shane? I like that. It's like a weird shape. Yeah, it has that nice, cool shape to it. It's all chrome. And actually, it's like 1950s there. It's highly desirable. People are actually kind of looking for these. And I bet you it still works because everything made back then still works. You buy something now, you're lucky to get five years out of it. Oh, look at these. Cast iron. Ooh. So, ladies and gentlemen, when you're buying cast iron pans, Griswold. This is one of the names you want to look for. One of the best out there. And really easy to do research on it. They had different patterns so you can make out what years they are. So, you can look at how this Griswold is. And then it's numbered right here. Number eight. And this is, you know... And you can, it has all kinds of stuff on there. It says cast iron. So, very easy to find. Similar one like that. But that's a nice little pot. I hope all these are good as well. Oh, nice. Now, look at this one. If you look, you see how the lettering is slanted. This is a much older version. You know, and some of these can be 100 years old or more. And the best thing is, highly collectible. It's cast iron. This little bit of rust, all stuff, you can make this look brand new again. Easy, easy, easy. You can make these look brand new. And some of them, I've sold Griswold pans before for over $500. There's some out there worth $1,000 in the right condition. Oh, look at this. Another Griswold right there. See, this says a 719B. It's a number 12. So this is a 12-inch pan. And oh, if this is Griswold, size matters, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it doesn't say Griswold. Man, U.S., but that's a large cast iron. That's probably a 14. And I know the bigger the pans, the more they're worth. But right there, that's a good score my buddy got. Some of those pans could sell for $80, $100, maybe more. So I have to do some research on them. He said, but I, I, I mean, I saw the unit was full of tools. We brought all kind of tools. I mean, it's good tools. There's a rigid pipe wrench. Now, here's the thing out there a lot of people don't know. Vices. It's been a big... These have gone up a lot since I started this business over 12 years ago. And now there's vices out there. People are getting $100, $200, $300 for. And right there is the name of the vice. Kind of hard to make out. It was made in the United States and Massachusetts. You know it's because everyone needs a little vice. Everyone needs a little vice in life. And uh, my vice is... It's heavy, listen, vices. 
<laughs> so who knows? We got light up here. Oh, this is a dovetail jig. This, this is for doing woodwork where you can make cabinets and drawers and things like that to go together. And what's in the box for the tote? Okay. Now as I expected, we got some brand new sheet sets, some reindeer and a uh, Barbie doll. And more tools down there. So we gotta go through all this other stuff and make some space. I know it's gonna be some more amazing things. So I seen the unit. One thing I did see was some toys in there, and he said this box has those in there, so I can't wait to see. Oh man. Wow. Wow. Now that looks cool. So, first thing we'll have to do is take this out right here. This is a Hubley Transportation car hauler, okay? Cars would drive up on there, cars would go up on top of there. 1950s, probably, would be my guess. But here it is right there. Obviously, the paint is all worn and everything else, but it's got all the tires. Very good benefit there. Still got a bumper on the front. So, overall... Not great condition, but not bad. But I love vintage toys. And look at this thing here. So that's like a flatbed trailer for something. Let's see who's got it. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the old Viewmaster in the box. See, sometimes you see these units, $1,900, like I said, by the time it's all done, $2,200, it's a lot of money to spend on you, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, the last, I think, five units I bought, I didn't spend that much money. And Shane's laughing because how much money have we made, Shane? Man. A lot. A lot of money. And we didn't even spend that much. We And we made, so you got to buy right, you know. But I can understand why everyone liked this unit. Look, I mean, when you see things like this, in the pictures, they don't like the unit. I mean, that's a beautiful nylon hook and ladder. Great cool condition. Right there. The condition is unbelievable. I mean, I see a lot of crushed steel toys, and that's what these are, crushed steel. I mean, that condition is nice. Nice, nice, this. Yeah! Go down, Shane. Let's shoot something. I think marshmallows maybe or something. That'd be pretty cool. It says new well air fire submachine gun. Pretty cool. Right? So something. You put something in there. It shoots out. I want to try this one. Right here, just enough on there. No. I'll find something. But it's pretty cool. I never seen one of these before. So if you guys seen one of those, let me know in the comments. Maybe you had one of these when you were a kid. Oh, nice. This is money here. Old fishing reels. And fishing reels, one of those things, they could be worth ten dollars, twenty dollars, hundred dollars. You really they're all marked on the side. See, it says a pen pair, number 209. Easy to look up. Once again, condition. Like that could be Bakelite right there. And makes them more valuable. This has an orange one. This one has white. And little things like that. Starting to stack up the Garcia. lures. I know. We got tons of fishing stuff. And now this, more fishing stuff. So that is good stuff right there. I mean, you know, I'm a little mad I didn't buy this unit. Either, but what are you do? Now this. What time is it? You see what it says there? IBM. That's right. So just that automatically takes the price. It's an IBM vintage clock. It's a glass dome. has all the right things on it. The only question is, does it work? Does it work? So we'll test it out. We'll see what time it is, see if it works. All right. So if this works, it's going to be worth a lot more money. So 
these old plugs, you're always a little, I don't even know what this thing's hanging off for, but you're always a little wary when you're plugging an old thing, huh, Shane? Yeah, we know Mike <laughs> Mike oh. plugging in all them old radios. Yeah, so. Nope, it's not doing that way. Hold on. Turn it this way. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Just joking. Oh, look it! That is awesome. So I do, you know, I mean, just that clock working just took the price way up. Because not only is it a cool vintage piece, but it's something you can still use today. You can put it in your building, your shop, your man cave, woman cave, any kind of cave. Get out of here now. What are you going to see? I can't wait to see what else we find. So let's see what else. I mean, that clock was awesome. Vintage toys. Some artwork. So Nicholas Kane Can. Winter. This looks like a matching one. Spring. So we're summer and fall. <clears throat> oh, here's something about it. <clears throat> Higby Winter. Sold for 20 bucks back in the day. It's a pretty old. Like label. a 1999. Back in the day. So it looks like Fenton ribbon glass there. It says silver crust. That's what he put inside here. Huh? You always gotta check if you use your fingers around the rim like this, you'll feel any little chip. And like I said, a chip like this will take it out way, way, way down. That's carnival glass right there. It's a nice little piece. <laughs> vintage clock. I don't hear it ticking. I don't hear it ticking. There it goes. I hear it. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh man. Is there anything in here? <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool. It's like an old perfume bottle. Very decorative. Oh, nice. Looks like we got a clock lot. Another old clock. Oh, nice. So you got the brown face, you got a white face one. They made different faces. It makes them worth different amount of money, more value. They have different colored clocks. Just like anything, everything's collectible. This really depends. Gosh. Huh. Time to wake up. It's an alarm. I'm dropping it. Time to wake up. Time Jeez. for school. Get the class. Get the class! <laughs> what else we got here? Some more. Metal glass. Could be Fenton. That's kind of got a feel of the edges. And holy smoke. Oh, wow! Look at that one. Is that cool looking or what? And you look at this is really old. You can tell it's just got all the brass. You can see like the crazy on here. There's patent dates over here, or patent numbers. And uh, it's ticking. So very cool. This is a big bend. These are little bends or baby bend. So you can see the difference. But that's a good clock right there. It's a great display piece. You put it on a shelf, your man, everyone's like, man, what, what the heck is that? Man, it works. That's an amazing thing. So, once again, you can buy the stuff, secondsense.com. We got more stuff to go to. What about this thing right here? What is this? Whoa! It's a big suitcase. Radio or something. Wow. 
Oh, it's a record player. A rec portable record player, Shane. Oh my God. Bring the party with you. You don't need your iPhone no more. You don't your, need a boombox. Your iTunes or nothing. Right here, just listen to this. Take it anywhere you want. Mike could throw one of his Jimi Hendrix records on there for you guys and just... Oh, I never got Jimi Hendrix. So, <laughs> we'll grab some more stuff. Let me clear up some of this. Let's see what else. We pull that stuff out of this. First of all, this is a nice copper pot. People use these. There's the lids that go with them, too. One time I had one of these that was converted into a still, and I think it sold for $250. So, look at this. Fellowship of the Ring token. Is this the first edition? That's the question. No. This is the 16th printing of the book. So, not going to be worth a lot of money, unfortunately. But, it's a nice book. Then we got copper fittings in here. Welding wire. <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas? What? Super pop-up? No way. Oh. Is that cool or what? What happens? Oh, he slides down the hill. Oh, man, I love pop-up books. Do you like pop-up books? It's been a while since I've seen one, but they're awesome. Look at that. So cool. Look at these up there. Oh. So here's what oh, I see. You pull this here. I don't know if it's working anymore. Just made of paper, so very fragile. You got the little doors you can open up. And... Oh, no, I got that from Santa. No, what I got? Look at Jack. That's hilarious. And the last page. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very cool. Boogie boogie. Wow. So, then that down in here. Another copper. And people like the copper. Because it lasts forever. Let's go through one more thing here. I see underneath here is a nice... Looks like something for uh Oh well, that's good baby bay sample. Instrument system. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, it's in the box. Alright. I like the first thing right here. Look at this. Holy that last piece of fat we thought was big. this wow that's vintage goodness right there these are actually called TV lamps so people would put this on top of the TV back in the day Shane when you could fit something on top of your TV it's probably TV now you can't even put nothing on top of your TV just hang it from the wall what the heck TV used to be a shelf as well yeah it used to be a piece of furniture Shane look at this look at this look at this Jewelry, marbles. We'll get to that in a minute. More fun and fun. So we got rosaries in here. <laughs> Spuds McKenzie, the original party animal. You're too young for Spuds McKenzie. That was Mike's idol until he realized it was just a commercial. He's like, I want to be Spuds McKenzie when I grow up. Right, Mike? That's great. But who didn't want to be Spuds McKenzie? He's the party animal. He'd hang out in these boats and just party out. Oh, look at that. That's nice. You know what that's for? For oil? That's right, Shane. When you used to go get oil, you'd get one of these, take it to the store, and they would have a big thing, and they'd just pump it, fill up the oil, and when you go home, you'd be like, whoop, pour it in, good to go. Oh, I love old stuff. Oh, nice. Here. Party on glasses. And some Wizard of Oz figures. 
question is, what's in the bag? What's in the bag of fun? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Ooh, got a little shiny box. What do we got? What do we got? I lost my marbles, but now I found them. And marbles, once again, they can be highly collectible. And Ohio is actually the marble capital of the world for a while. They made more marbles in Ohio than anywhere. But during the Depression, it was a cheap toy. You didn't have much to have. Oh, nice. So, and jewelry is one of those things, ladies and gentlemen. It's just really, what's it worth is if you have two people in an auction that love it, I've seen jewelry go for crazy amounts of money. If you have a store, you can ask anything you want. That doesn't mean you're going to sell it. So right there, looks like sterling silver earrings. Some mother of pearl on there. Another pair. Looks like it's silver. Yep, sterling silver. Looks like a bracelet, maybe. And that's nice. Looks like it's got tur turquoise. It's a pin or a necklace. It appears to be sterling silver. So I always like when people bring me gold and silver. I'll take it. I love selling stuff, and that's easy to sell. What the heck in here? No way. <laughs> Feel like this. Shark teeth. That's right, Shane. I pulled these out of my leg earlier this year. No, sorry. I used to swim in the ocean. I lived in Florida for two years, ladies and gentlemen. I swam in the ocean almost every night by myself. No one else on the beach. No one else. No. Everyone's like, you're crazy swimming in the ocean at night. If I never got attacked by a shark, a couple jellyfish, but. That's always going to happen. What's in the bag? Oh, nice. Holy smoke. If any of those are real. Could be some diamonds there. All right, what's in the box this year? No, nope, this one's empty. So it looks like sterling. This looks like it could be gold. And silver together. It has gold accents on there. See that? Looks like rose gold and regular gold on it. it says 925. Yeah, it looks like it's probably marked right there. Sterling bracelet. Alright, what's in the box? Ooh! Look at all this. So we got some pens, brooches, a lot of costume jewelry. But jewelry always sells. <clears throat> Especially the bling, bling, bling. Some nice pens. Oh, this is nice. So a bunch of fashion jewelry. Fashion jewelry. All right. What's the last thing I think we got? We go through everything? Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> Not what was I expecting, but it looks nice. Just a nice decorative pen. Man, you just never know. We still have all this other stuff to be brought. I mean, like right here, look at this vintage clock. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit that bell. Get your notifications. Give us a thumbs up. Check out our other videos. And you can actually buy this, www.secondsense.com, another vintage clock, glass base. And, I mean, look at this old skateboard right here. That's pretty cool. So, you guys got to watch our videos. Bid on the stuff in the auction. You can even see me, hopefully not hurt myself. I'm going for it. Hold on, a bunch of shit. I'm going to flip up or flip. Oh, I'm going for it. Ladies and gentlemen, I used to be a skateboarder back in the day. Oh. All right. Can you ollie on a skateboard this small? I'll probably end up breaking. I'm so heavy. Well, the good thing is it's solid wood. They do one of these, Shane. Ready? For the grand finale. One, two, three. Oh. Do a kickflip. <laughs>
So appreciate everybody out there. Thank you so much. Have a great day.